Welcome back to the channel. Today is day 15 of creating a 3D printing startup business. So welcome back. Today is day 15 of creating a 3D printing startup business. Yesterday, we determined what a cell ready item would look like. We printed a few different copies, critiqued them and picked the best ones. Now today, we're gonna to focus on the step that comes after determining if your product is cell ready, which is photography. So today won't be about taking the actual photos. It'll be about creating and designing a place that will allow for the most optimal photos to be achieved. Let's take our cell ready items and bring them back to the space that we're gonna convert into our photo room. Well, okay, so this will be the space that we will be transforming into the photo room. Now, just like the garage, space is limited, but I am confident that we can come up with a solution that allows us to both have a photo and shipping room combined. Now, taking photos of a product you intend to sell is a very important part of the entire process of getting a product to market. It's more involved than just point, click, upload. Especially if you want to differentiate yourself from competitors and also have market visibility. And that's why today, the next step for us to do is to convert a part of the shipping room into a photo room. Let's jump over and see some of the items that we'll be installing today. So here are some of the items that we'll be using today. Just your basic anchors to any successful photo room. And these are the tools that we'll be utilizing. Just a simple array. These are just some of the basics that we will be installing today. And I'll get more in depth as we unbox them. But they're essentially just some of the basics that you would want to ensure a true quality photo. Now the first thing that we'll be looking at is this photo paper. This is a 86 inch width by 36 inch length seamless white photo paper by Superior Seamless. This is really a great product uh, to ensure that you have a very consistent backdrop uh, and it's also wide enough to accept a wide range of different size products. Now over here we have the item that is going to be holding this paper. Uh, now I want to suspend it from the ceiling up here, which allows me to roll it out, utilize these tables for photography, and then when I'm done, I can retract it up and then still maintain usable space on these tables, which with you know limited space already, uh, having that option will be optimal. And this basically just suspends from the ceiling. It also allows you to add up to two other rolls. So if you end up wanting different color backdrops, you can. Uh, for today, we're just gonna be installing the white. So let's go ahead and get this installed. I may end up having to move this rack down a bit, but let's get the paper unboxed and see how tight we are going to be. And with the power of your typical cell phone nowadays, the cameras are amazing. I'm gonna be using one different than my phone, but your phone can take very good quality photos, especially if it's been manufactured within the last five years. And also the setup that we're gonna run through and get installed today is a bit more complex. You don't need to start this large. A simple photo box, which has four sides, a top and a bottom and a light built in is sufficient enough depending on your product size. Now, if it's something bigger uh, than what you can get with the photo box, the setup I will be creating today would be optimal. Uh, and you can even scale this larger than what you're gonna see today if you have you know, very big items that you're going to be selling. So let's get some of these items unboxed and get them installed. Okay, so there's our photo paper. Uh, it is quite long, uh, 
especially compared to where we're going to put it but it'll be just fine once it's tucked up against the ceiling uh, i did end up having some space compared to the wall uh, back here i still think i'll probably end up having to move this rack down a bit but that's fine we'll go ahead and get this unboxed and see ultimately you know what we have to do to get it installed now this system that i'm setting up uh, from the paper to the lights uh, even down to some of the photography equipment uh, i actually picked up from a channel i believe it is perfect tool or tool perfect uh, it's a guy who 3d prints his own tool accessories and he had a segment that i saw based off of how he does his photography and he's, he's kind of the same setup. He has a garage operation, um, which I thought was very cool. And he was very knowledgeable in the uh, photography realm. I mean, the guy is taking high quality photos for his own website and his own products. And I'm definitely not here to recreate the wheel. And if a system and a process is working, uh, I'm going to do some research into it. And if it fits my needs, I'll, I'll adapt it. Again, he had all of the links for everything that I'm installing today on uh, his YouTube channel. But I'll also leave links uh, to everything that we're using today. So this looks like this is how this should fit inside the brackets. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and take a measurement from each bracket, get them hung up here, see how it's going to fall, and then we can get the paper and the chain hooked up. Okay, so that's one up. Again, it's, it's real solid. I went with pretty big tap cons and into concrete. I mean, the weight it can sustain is, is substantial. This bracket would bend before it actually failed on the wall. I made sure that I set this top bracket down far enough so that I can unload any of the top spools of paper. And again, if it ends up being too unstable, uh, which I honestly don't think it will, I'll put some blocking uh, behind this but let's move on to the next one okay now this does come with kind of a plastic chain that you can use to roll and unroll the paper, which is very nice because it's, you know, essentially affixed uh, above your head. So that'll be the last thing that I have to do for this until we can get it hung up.
All right, well there you go. The first look at the official photo backdrop of this space. I think it worked out great. And now just look, I mean, it really does give you just an immense amount of space. I mean, I honestly don't see myself needing this much, but it's no problem to have it this big, you know, better to have it and not need it. And it just was able to fit this space pretty well. Now I definitely want to avoid any of the creasing in it like that down there. Um, I will use, you know, basically just some clips to clip it to the table. And then I can always even scale this paper back. You know, I can cut it somewhere around here. Maybe, you know, the depth of this table back here. And that way I just have a backdrop from this corner down. But I'll play with it, you know, as the workflow continues. But I think it turned out great. And this here really does uh, help with getting it up and down. All right, so now that we have the photo paper taken care of, let's look at the next important item for any photography space. And that is going to be lighting. Now these are two two packs of newer bicolor 660 LED lights. They range from 3200 to 5600 lumens. And it says it is dimmable now these come with kind of a bracket set up like that uh, for floor mounted but i have some wall mounts again for efficiency and space that i want to add to a couple of these haven't quite figured out the layout yet but let's dive into it and get it done mm -hmm. And every single thing that I've shown in this series so far, I am going to be working in the next few days uh, to get all of the links to all of these items inside the description of these videos so that you guys can take a look at anything and you don't have to search around and guess if it's the actual product. And there we have it. That's the first look. Uh, and these were you know, design for photography. So you really have total control uh, over what you want for the settings uh, and the light pollution to be. All right, so and these are the arms that I purchased to hold these lights. Uh, that way, again, I don't have to use any type of base to them and I can pull them out when I need them and retract them when I'm done. So let's take a look at unboxing those and seeing how we are going to set those up within this space. And that's basically how it'll sit on the arm attachment. It's got a little strut that allows you to pull it down and retract it. All right, so let's get the layout figured out. So after looking this all over, what I think I am going to do is put one here for the downlight and then put another one next to it for the right side uh, of the lighting. And then my only other real option is to come from above to come down for my left sided lighting. Uh, so we will see how that works. It should work out fine, but I'll get everything up and then we'll do a uh, mock-up. I think that'll work good. It can uh, pivot side to side. It looks like it's tightened down with some bolts and nuts right now. Uh, but by loosening those, I should be able to articulate it uh, back and forth as well. All right, let's get the other ones up.
Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, tentatively, I think this looks good. And I should be able to capture all the angles necessary uh, for some good quality photos. All right, let's get everything cleaned up. Let's get the paper rolled out and get these turned on and see how it looks. Well, look at this, guys. I think it turned out great. Exactly what I thought it would, and I'm happy with it. Now, cord management will definitely play a role here, but we'll get that figured out. And we'll dial all of these temperatures and settings in, and we'll bring you along for the perfect picture. But for now, I'm happy with it. Well guys, today was another very successful day and a major step forward. We finally have the photography room completed and we can now take professional grade photos. Tomorrow is when we'll dive in to start taking some of these photos and going over the settings uh, that I've learned and some that I've never even tried so that we can dial in the perfect product photo. It was a lot of work today. I'm very happy with the progress. And I thank you guys for coming along with me. And I hope this series so far has helped and inspired you. And I'll continue recording the journey and creating a 3D printing startup business. I'll see you guys tomorrow.